and in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a shadow brush in Procreate. But before we start, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post new content like this one. So let's begin. Create a square canvas in Procreate and the size of the canvas that I'm using is 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels. First, let's open the layer menu and on the background color layer, let's change it to black by double tapping in this area to automatically select it. For the color of our brush, let's select the color white by again double tapping in the area near the color white. The brush that we are going to use is the monoline brush under the calligraphy. So let's start creating the brush by drawing an oval and you can adjust the shape that you created by tapping the edit shape option that appears on the top of the canvas. Then fill that in with color. On the layer menu, let's duplicate our current layer and on the lower layer, tap it to select as our current layer. Then tap the arrow icon so that we can reposition the shape in this layer. You can use the guides if you like and you can activate them by turning them on in the snapping option. Go to our color menu and in the value option, let's adjust the brightness slider to 40%. Then use this color to fill in and recolor our lower oval. Then on our layer menu, let's merge these two layers together. If you want, you can reposition our elements by tapping the arrow icon again. When that is done, copy this layer by tapping the thumbnail of our current layer and tap copy. Tap our brush library and let's duplicate the brush pen under calligraphy. Just slide it to the left and select duplicate. On the duplicate, let's tap on it so we can customize. On the shape option, let's change the shape source by tapping edit, then import, then select paste. Tap done. On the stroke path, I'm going to adjust the streamline to maximum. For the taper, I am adjusting the size to 20% and if you are using your finger to draw, you can change the taper option under touch taper. And to fully customize this brush in the brush properties, I'm going to change the name to Shadow Brush Pen and of course add my name also. If you like the current settings, you can tap this to create a reset option so that in the future, if you adjusted different options and characteristics of this brush and want to go back to this setting, you can do that by just resetting the brush. And of course for brush management, let's move this brush to our YouTube brushes library. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe and you can watch this other videos if you like. Until next time, bye!